Okay, well, it's time now for some debunking with Tristan Verkemeister from France 24's Observers team. Tristan, today you're going to take us far, far away from Earth. Yes, Eve, we're off to Mars. We've all seen the landing images of Perseverance on Mars, but you have to pay attention since some of the videos were actually fake. So we've analysed one in particular in the latest episode of Truth or Fake. First image of Mars, sent through rover. Amazing Mars, sound on. This video supposedly shows the first exclusive images from Mars taken right after the landing of the new Perseverance rover on the 18th of February. People are encouraged to turn the sound on for a more immersive experience, a good strategy to get more clicks since the video has been viewed more than 6 million times. However, there are several issues with this video. First, the timestamp of the video. It was posted at 6.34am Paris time on the 18th of February. But if you double check online, the Perseverance robot actually landed at 9.55pm Paris time on that day. So the video was posted 15 hours before the rover even landed. Then there's a visual clue that can lead us to the real source of the images. At the end of the video, a watermark reads Curiosity, the name of a different rover sent to Mars by NASA in 2012. It took thousands of photos, and this panorama was generated from them and posted in March 2020. Finally, let's take another listen to the sound. Now listen to this sound recorded by InSight, yet another NASA robot, which landed on Mars in November 2018. Yes, it's the same sound. It was recorded by the InSight robot back in April 2019. You can hear first the wind on Mars, then a short earthquake caused by the vibrations of the wind, and finally the noise of the robot's arm as it moves. So this video shows real images and real sound from Mars, but both were recorded at different times and none were captured by the Perseverance rover. So watch out for accounts like these which post everything related to space to get more likes and retweets while benefiting from the audience of an international news event. For more fact checking, follow us on Twitter at Observers. So interesting timing, really key. I mean, these were posted while Perseverance was back in the news, but just as we were waiting to get pictures back from Mars. Exactly. On the 22nd on, of February, when this tweet um, was posted, NASA shared the official landing images of Perseverance that you can see behind me. Um, and regarding the doctored video of Mars, it went so viral because it, was, it seemed to be breaking news. It seemed to be exclusive. But actually, it's also because space exploration as a theme in general draws a lot of attention. And Twitter accounts and some Twitter accounts are really good at capturing that audience. Um, and this one, Black Hole, um, a few days ago shared this video claiming that it's a complete rotation of Mars, but that's actually factually incorrect, since this animation is actually used on NASA's website and it is computer generated by a software. So it is not a video, but rather an animated collage of different photos. And here's another example with this account called uh, Wonder of Science. These four photos were posted to celebrate the landing of Perseverance. Um, and they, but actually, they were all shot between 2014 and 2020. So they have nothing to do with Perseverance. And on top of that, they are unrelated to each other. OK, so showing people pictures of other planets or other dates or, I mean, what is the point in that or does it even matter? Well, actually, we think that it comes down to the audience that these accounts can get by sharing this clickbait content. And what's interesting is to take a step back to get the full picture, since some of these accounts do it for malicious motives. Uh, Nicolas Enin is a French disinformation expert, and here's what he had to say about the doctored video we debunked in Truth or Fake. This film does not contain any ideological message, but it was shared by extremist social media accounts just to increase their audience vis slash visibility by taking advantage of the wow effect. So to find out more, we called him and he sent us this Facebook post. It's the same doctored video from Curiosity, except this time it's published by Ring.
Ring Publishing is a controversial publishing house offering a platform for right-wing supremacist authors. And as you can see, this post was viewed more than 140,000 times. So it is very, it's a very simple and effective strategy for them. These accounts share viral content from time to time to get more likes, shares, followers. But once users actually interact with these posts, algorithms will show them more and more of them. And this time, they won't be as viral or lighthearted, but they will be ideological. Indeed, the minute you like or as you say interact, they appear automatically on, on your feed. Um, fake news about Mars, though, it's been around for quite a while. Yes, Eve. Actually, back in 1877, an Italian astronomer named Giovanni Schiaparelli observed Mars, and he claimed he saw linear markings on the surface of the planet. But actually, we now know we now know them to be optical illusions created by the alignment of craters on the planet. Um, so the Italian astronomer wrote about these linear markings, and he described them as channels, canales in Italian, to be precise. But actually, his writings were mistranslated into English, and canales turned into canals. And this had major consequences, since it implied that water was present on the surface of Mars and that intelligent beings built them. So at least that was the theory coined by American astronomer Percival Lowell. And his theory gained traction, and American media outlets actually covered it but covered it as facts. So that's why we have the, a, few example, uh, a few examples found by the website 538. And here's an article from the New York Times published in 1906. Eight, 1906, sorry. The headline reads, there is life on planet Mars. And five years later, it boldly stated, Martians built two immense canals in two years. And that's how, without even using social media, a fake news story was born. I mean, well, who knows? Maybe Perseverance Rover will find some proof of that in the next few years. But of course, for now, not thought to be the case. Tristan, thanks a lot for that. And we'll see you uh, shortly for another episode of Truth or Fake. It's time now.